Let's try to solve this problem. Simplify the following. So let's start with 1. x squared y cubed quantity raised to the 4th. So here, we can apply the power of a product law of exponents wherein if we have x times y raised to m, it's equal to x raised to m, y raised to m. So basically, you can distribute the exponent to every factor in the product. So applying here, the power of a product law of exponents, so we can distribute this exponent to 4. So we will have x squared raised to the 4th, then y cubed raised to the 4th. And after this, we can apply the power to power law of exponent wherein if we have x to the m raised to n, it's equal to x raised to mn. So we can copy the same base and multiply the exponents 2 times 4, that's 8. Then for y, we have y raised again to the product of the exponent 3 and 4, 3 times 4, that's 12. So the final answer is x to the 8, y to the 12. For number 2, we have 2 squared times 3 raised to the second power. So again, we can apply the power of a product law of exponent. We can distribute the exponent 2 to each factor. So we will have 2 squared raised to the second power times 3 raised to the second power. So applying power to power law this time, copy the base 2 and multiply the exponents 2 times 2, that's 4. Then copy 3 squared. So 2 to the 4th means 4 factors of the base 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. While 3 squared means 2 factors of the base 3. So we have 3 times 3. So simplifying these 4 factors of 2, it's equal to 16 times 2 factors of 3, that's equal to 9. So 6 times 9, it's equal to 144. For number 3, we have 2x squared y cubed quantity raised to the third times 3x to the fourth y to the fifth quantity squared. So again, let's distribute the exponent first. So we will have 2 cubed times x squared cube times y cube cube. Doing the same here, let's distribute the exponent 2. So we will have 3 squared times x to the 4th squared times y to the 5th squared. So 2 cube means 3 factors of 2 or 2 times 2 times 2 or 8. And for this one, x squared cube, copy the base x and multiply the exponent 2 times 3, that's 6. For y cube cube, copy the base y, multiply the exponents 3 times 3, that's 9. Times 3 square again, 2 factors of 3, so that's equal to 3 times 3 or 9. For x to the 4th squared, copy base x, multiply the exponents 4 times 2, it's 8. For y to the 5th squared, copy base y and multiply the exponents 5 times 2, 10. So, this time we can apply the multiplication law of exponent. But notice that we have a coefficient of 8 and 9. So, let's multiply them first. 8 times 9, that's 72. So, if we multiply x to the 6 times x to the 8, so we just copy the base x and then add the exponent 6 plus 8 or that will be 14. While for the product of y to the 9th and y to the 10th, copy the base y and add the exponents 9 plus 10, that will be 19. So this is the final answer. For number 4, we have x cubed by the negative 2, z to the 4th, quantity raised to the 5th, times x to the negative 2, y to the 4th, z to the negative 3, raised to the 3rd. So let's distribute the exponent first. So we will have x cubed raised to the 5th, then y to the negative 2 raised to the 5th. Then z to the 4th raised to the 5th. Also distributing the exponent here, we will have x to the negative 2 raised to the 3rd. y to the 4th raised to the 3. Then z to the negative 3 raised to the 3. So simplifying each factor by applying power to power law. So we have x raised to 3 times 5, 15 y raised to negative 2 times 5, negative 10, z raised to 4 times 5, 20. Here we have x raised to negative 2 times 3, negative 6, 
y raised to 4 times 3, 12. Then z raised to negative 3 times 3, negative 9. And then, multiplying same base x, copy the base x, and then add the exponents, 15 plus negative 6, that will be positive 9. For the same base y, copy the same base y, and add the exponents, negative 10 plus 12, that will be equal to positive 2. For the same base z, okay, copy the base z and add the exponents 20 plus negative 9 or 11. So therefore, this is the final answer. x to the 9th, y squared z to the 11th. So now it's your turn. So try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.